Making measurements using a compass clinometer is a fundamental skill for a field geologist. Here we start with some basics looking at the measurement of planar rock structures, specifically bedding. Well, the fundamental task when making a map or understanding the geology in general is the ability to measure structures, particularly bedding in this case. So let's go through how we do that using this rather nice bedding surface that lies in the landscape. And we'll do it just down there. Okay, so here's a really good piece of bedding in here. I've got my compass, I've got something to write with, and uh, my notebook there, which we'll record things into. Okay. Nice sunny surface on here. It's a nice bedding plane. There's a few glaciated striations on here, but it's still the bedding plane. Nicely polished surface. Got my pencil ready to go and a notebook ready to write things down and my compass. So the first thing to do in here is to find a horizontal line on this surface, which is the strike. So to do that, I'm opening the compass up and spinning it around so that the clinometer, which are the red parts of this, is going to be vertical and little black arrow can swing. And this, clearly the, what we're going to do is spin this around to find a horizontal line, which is, which is there. So that is the strike. So now we spin the compass over like this, so the edge of the compass is parallel to strike, and the compass bed itself is horizontal, so the needle is free to swing. So whenever we measure bearings, the compass is always a flat plane, and the bearing we're going to take is this long axis of the compass. So now spin the red arrow around, there's an outline arrow in there that sits underneath the magnetic arrow, and there we have it, we can read off the bearing here now, which is 342. So the strike is 342. We could record it as 162, it doesn't matter. I'm going to record it as 342. Okay, strike 342. Now to get the dip, we go back to clino mode to get the red bits lined up again. That's east west on the compass part. Okay, and now we're going to use the black arrow in here. So we line the compass up so down the dip direction. The dip's the maximum inclination we can measure, which is. 22 degrees. So it's 342, 22, that way, not into the face, but this way, which is east. So write that down. 342, 22, east. Let's get my notebook open in here. Bedding. 342, 22, east. And we've now measured the orientation of this plane. That's all there really is to it. So the important part is bearings, the compass is horizontal. To get the inclination, when it's a clinometer, this is vertical and just rotates like that. And those are the two ways in which we use the compass for bearings or inclinations. So armed with a compass and a notebook and a map, we can get out here and work out the structure and the relationship between rock units and quantify it by making measurements of the orientation of bedding or any other planar surface that we care to measure.